Okay, everybody, welcome back to Learn with Minecraft Education. Today, we're looking at part two of our series on the mountain. Right, here we are back in the game. So we've just come out of our little underground layer from lesson number two. Our video part one is behind us and we have been asked to walk down the grass path and up the side of the mountain a little bit and we're going to have a chat with another non-player character. So let's hippity hoppity up here and here we are. There's a lava, lava fall, a water lava fall. You've come such a long way, well done. The red poppy marks the place. So we're going to dig down. The game wants the students here to explore underneath the red poppy and see what's going on and um, have a think about, follow the redstone uh, signal along and, and have a look how this all works. Oh no, you can, you can actually destroy that redstone. Uh-oh. Um, let's keep digging around. Sorry, NPC. So let's just dig all around this lever. So there's nothing but lever and we'll try and see how it works. I think the students probably won't go to the same extent. Uh, they will probably just pull the lever and walk through the door. But we're going to do it because the lesson plan tells us to. I feel bad that I've stuck this um, player down here. We're going to need to fix this. Sorry. So look, here's the lava field anyway. <laughs> we need to stop the lava coming down now. And the way to do it, the way I've decided to do it, is I'm going to craft a lever. The lever that they put there doesn't work because I've destroyed the redstone. And if your students do this too, well, then you're just going to have to craft a lever with what you've got and make a new circuit. There we go. So let's let's go down here and look at how this circuit works. The redstone is going up behind the mountain, behind the lava. This is a long old... What's that? What's through there? These must be the like, seeding lights in the room behind the lava. So let's worry about that later. There we are. This is, this is some, there's some pistons and they are currently pushed up, which means it's done something. This is all from that lever at the bottom. So let's... What did the piston actually do? Let's... The piston pushed those blocks up, I think, in front of me. Up there. Oh, and there's the lava. So it kind of created a little dam. Um, so then the lava stops flowing. This super cool double door. Feel free to explore the amazing creations inside this base. Um, but we're going to get the book and quill and the camera because we need it for later lessons. And I don't want to have to go back and get it that I could see when I was digging around behind the lava. Let's grab some armor. So let's... Let's get suited and booted. Nice golden armor. Awesome. So let's have a look around. Um, light switches. That's awesome. Lots of stuff in the chest for us to craft. I think the point is that we explore this base this, and prepare ourselves to go through the nether portal because there's some challenges that await on the other side of the nether portal. Um, also, what we are supposed to be doing in here, according to the lesson plan, is checking out how the redstone stuff works and improving it, apparently. Let's keep looking for some... Oh, cool, you can turn the shower on. And there's a light up there, maybe. I mean, it looks really nice in here. I guess your students will just enjoy roaming around, gathering up materials. If you tell them they're going through a nether portal late in the next lesson, they will spend a long time prepping and getting ready. When you're done exploring the mountain base, head to the nether portal. The door is downstairs directly below me. Awesome. Well, we're not ready yet. Uh, so we're turning all the lights on and off. And the top one... Ah, okay. So if I flick that switch, I can jump in behind here and check out all of the redstone stuff. I don't know how my students would improve it. I don't know what they would do to improve any of these redstone builds. But you could certainly um, get the students to write in the book and quill what they think the redstone achieves and how it achieves it. So why are there so many repeaters? What are they connected to? What activates them? How is it hidden from the people in the base? Would be something quite cool. And they could write a little bit about that. There's loads of redstone here, but it, it mostly seems to be connected to lights flow redstone. Oh, okay. What's going on here? These are all off at the moment. We've got some non-redstone torches lighting everything up, but the actual redstone is off. I guess this is the lights. These are the lights above like the main hall. Ow, again. I think it's time to go 
into creative here because this is such a massive base and the students will love exploring it, but I want to get a move on and explore it a bit quicker. So let's go into creative and find out what makes this base thing tick so we can really uh, teach our students. Well, that must be the shower. That must have been the shower back there. Whoa, okay. Okay, this must be the main hall bit. I don't know if you remember, there were like loads of uh, plants down there. Look, they're all turning off one by one. Are they? No, it's gotten so far. Let's let's put the repeater back. Complete the circuit. Cool. There's just room after room of uh, things. There's like potions and spells and stuff that you can take through the nether portal with you. Wow, this room's cool. I mean, this is really cool. Like whoever's made all of this, the team behind it, it must have taken ages. It's like so it's a massive, massive base hidden inside a mountain, which is awesome. I think just letting your students explore it will be a really fun lesson for them. And I think the lights must be for growing crops inside. This person lives inside the mountain. So they're growing crops inside. We've gotten, we've gathered some stuff. We've got some swords and stuff and some armor. And I think we're basically ready to go through. This kind of maintenance hatch is really cool. So if something breaks, I really like the idea of a maintenance hatch. You can just flick that, go through, sort out your redstone, close it again. There's a lot of mileage you could get out of this world in terms of teaching, particularly with literacy, but probably a few different, just exploring these switches and stuff in case I've missed any more, any more redstone stuff that I can tinker with. That's the one thing I must say in the lesson plan, it says, find some redstone contraptions, think about how they work and see if you can improve any of them. And I just haven't been able to see that myself. It doesn't give you any examples of ones that could be improved, which would be really nice in the lesson plan. Just an example, just one example of one of the redstone contraptions and, or a way to improve it, um, because they all seem to work absolutely fine to me. And my students won't spend this long exploring the redstone. They will just go cool and they'll grab all the swords and stuff and they'll want to go through the nether portal. I think we're ready. I think we're ready to finish the lesson there. I think we've got everything we need. So at this point, we will get our students to save and exit. And we will uh, pick up next time. And they will be very excited about going through the nether portal. Um, if you enjoyed today's lesson and any of the videos on the channel, please do subscribe, like the video. And um, I will see you all later on in the week.